We're just hanging out. Hanging and breathing. <laughs> Maybe I go around this way. Ooh. Mr. Nate just found the tree to hang in. And this, why I'm hanging, wait, I got a hair in my mouth. <laughs> is that I've been having this pain in my back from when I was younger and playing too much computer all the time and it's been low key there all the time and I've been fixing it with yoga, qigong and dao yin and whatever but when we built our house it felt really bad like I said I had to do a lot of heavy things and after I was like I felt like I really had to do something about it oh, a little horsey corsey that's okay that's okay but then I just went looking and looking. First I went to like some magnet massage things. Then I found a family friend, you know, like literally a family friend that told one in my family that there's a magical Chinese, med traditional Chinese medicine lady that does acupuncture and more things like she's an actual Chinese doctor. And uh, I went there to try it and I met her. First she did like a diagnosis, like she checked my body through traditional Chinese method things like you check your tongue, their spine and you feel their nerves and stuff and check their pulse and then she told me like three acupuncture sessions and I will give you some advice like some medical advice on what to do and I did three acupuncture sessions and it really helped like it released a lot of tension in my back like I really recommend acupuncture is fucking amazing if you go to someone that knows what they're doing then she told me my spine is curved too much one way and the best way to fix that is to walk backwards a little bit every day <laughs> so I've been doing that and it like just since the acupuncture I feel so much more energy in general before I felt like super tense in my back now I'm starting to feel looser and looser every moment so traditional Chinese medicine big up like they know their shit they're actual real doctors if you have a problem go to a Chinese traditional doctor like no way more than the pharmaceutical Western way of medicine and hanging that was the second thing I was supposed to hang a few minutes every day she said go to nature find a tree go hang <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm doing just hanging and letting gravity and my weight and everything straighten my spine out and just relax and hang and I really feel like the walking backwards things like when I walk backwards I feel that there's a place that's been tense and not used and probably from sitting too much like this and stuff on the computer making my spine have a little curve in the wrong direction so now source infinite intelligence myself guided to do some traditional Chinese medicine and in this also since I've had a sensitive stomach since I ate so much shit and like fast food and coca-cola and stuff when I was young when I was just playing computer since then I had a sensitive stomach so I've been really hardcore on my diet and then I asked her and she says stomach is connected with the spleen in Chinese medicine like mjelten in Swedish and then I got a special recipe with like balsam vinegar vinegar and uh, tofu like bu bouillon and to tofu like you boil tofu for three minutes in that and then you eat the tofu and I've done that for two or three days now <laughs> and already I'm feeling my stomach in general feeling more calm so really fucking big up Chinese medicine and if you watch this far hanging and all of those things and all of that this now you can do so many things yesterday I did 60 or 50 push-ups I think I did 60 and then I did 10 more later and today I've done 20 push-ups I'm gonna do more. I'm hanging in a tree. I walk backwards. I've been running with the dog. All beautiful things. There's so much to do in this beautiful now. And it's not even like you have to put like a doing. It's just like put your being into to just doing. Put your intention like I want to do this. And automatically you start doing it. It's not even like you're doing it. It's almost like you're just feeling good. When your body gets more life force. You just feel better and better and better. And especially if you feed your mind beautiful thoughts that align with what you're doing just like I'm so happy the sun is shining if you have that thought I'm so happy to even be out right now in nature and be able to hang in this tree like <laughs> <laughs> beautiful
literally there's ways to just let go of your mind and realize pure awareness but there's an even more powerful way of coming to pure awareness because in pure awareness everything is beautiful and if you just paint your mind with everything in your favor everything in gratitude thankful for every moment you see the beauty in everything you see the sunny side up in every situation and you paint your mind with thoughts because thoughts becomes your words so if you have beautiful thoughts you have beautiful words and then your words becomes your actions and then your actions becomes your habits and your habits becomes your character and these are all things within duality of form in the pure self none of this matters but there's a beauty of reflecting that pure love that bliss that pure awareness into form completely reflecting the mirror of God into the most beautiful form because you can say God is attributeless formless but God is everything so it's also form so let's paint the most beautiful forms possible with our beautiful thoughts with our beautiful words beautiful. our loving actions and seeing God in all living beings and then doing the best you can with your words actions and thoughts towards all living beings as yourself as God as an eternal image of God is the biggest service you could ever do to humanity and God that's true meditation even beyond just sitting and <laughs> it's always here and now in bliss with all of existence in synchronicity with all that is I won because I'm one with everyone and all that is done bless up Ja, Rastafari, one love.